Hello everyone and welcome back to Stellaris, our bromance series here in Apocalypse version 2.0 of Stellaris. We're having a good time. Uh, my empire almost fell apart. How's everybody else doing? Uh, all right. Fairly well, actually. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, what are you doing, Bruno? Are you going to war? What are you doing down there? You're making me uh, nervous. I'm planning on giving a hard time to this devouring swarm. <laughs> this is going to go both ways. Uh, sorry, one of two ways. I'm going to defeat it, or it's going to defeat me. But so I guess saying? the longer, yeah, the longer I wait, harder it's going to be for me. So you can't drain them of their, because basically what happens when they reach their uh, their war exhaustion is a white piece. Yep. So I mean, you could just try that. Yeah, I'm afraid that they just are moving their fleet around my empire and going to hit me in the back door. That's why I'm trying to go to the offensive, because I know I can defeat them if I go to offensive here now. Well, we're going to find it out. I've got a whole I've got a whole section of my empire that I can't build. Uh, click. Who's what is that? Construction complete. Somebody hammering? No. Construction. Not me. <clears throat> okay. It was you earlier, Mickey. Pray for me this time. I got, I got an eye on you now. Okay, pray for me, guys. Now it's time. All right, good luck. <laughs> I'm going to need it. Hashtag sending prayers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll even, like, set my Facebook profile picture as Brazilian flag colors. <laughs> In solidarity. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's an honor. I got this station. Nice. Take that, devouring swarm. <laughs> they descend upon you with a with a fleet twice your size right afterwards. Just construction yeah. complete. Well, well, now they have to destroy two bastions to do that. I had to get rid of my <laughs> I had to get rid of my fleets, so I have no way to get rid of these pirates. But I do have them trapped in between uh, two. Uh, star holds so they really can't go anywhere and I don't have any I don't I don't have any of the resources like none of the mining stuff equipment satellite set up in any of these systems really except for the one they're in right now destroying and then after that Ooh. there's not gonna be anything they can do I think wow this is going way better than I was expecting to no never mind I okay. think somebody figured out how to use wormholes. Yep. Already? Yep, the uh the great Seljuk League. Uh they've got uh they've got a wormhole in their territory and I was wondering how they how the hell they got the other side of my ter my um empire. Oh, that's and not it's good. A, it's a wormhole. That's wow. not good. Yeah. I wasn't they expecting... must have got a really lucky rare tech. Wasn't expecting anybody to be rolling with the uh, wormholes anytime soon, but here me, we are, guys. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I need to start working on my science a little bit. Pirates, here we go. Oh man, come on, guys. I got, <clears throat> I, I got this fight about to happen, and I'm like, please, please get done with the upgrade. Please get done with the upgrade. Does anybody have spare minerals? I can send you some minerals. I could use a lot because I'm my current income is zero, and I've got I'm sitting on like an extra four minerals uh, uh, of, of base uh, of mining. Let me does do it, this. Let me do this combat real quick. Minerals in oh. 2.0. Uh, it can, yeah, <laughs> it, I yeah, everything's harder in a way. I think. I'm okay with that. Give me Ooh. just a second, Roach. I'll send it your way as soon as this fight's over. Yep. Gonna see if there's like a campaign. Ah, fucking pirates. Seriously? That's what I'm dealing with right now. I mean, oh man. Not, like a boss, bad. though. Just, Ooh, I'm the foxtails are in this. Oh, I found Vanguard finally. Oh, yeah. th then Sheer comes with me again, because then I, you, I should be able to meet him then. Oh, I found, I found their fleet. I found their fleet. It's a 5k fleet and they are dead. <laughs> Superior. Okay. Live more game. You found their fleet? Yeah. And you killed and it? 
Not yet, but I have a stronger fleet than they have. That's why oh. they're holding back. Um, okay. I'm kind of curious to see what happens. Yeah, they have already lost four or five seasons to me. Well, there's Vanguard. Hey! Like, more is going a way that nobody expected it to go. Yeah. Okay. Damn. <laughs> I mean, I had 100% confidence in you is what I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, offer trade deal. Okay, minerals okay. incoming. They are jumping in my fleet. <laughs> Let's see how I fare. I should be able to what are, win, maybe. What are they using? I finally found a wormhole and it's like... I don't, know. Have, I don't have, have any a lot of point right. defense. Let's Is that going to yeah. hurt you? Just, just a second, about. Let me pay attention to this because this is what's going to decide the war. And I guess they lost. Ooh. Oh, nice! I sent that to you, Roach. What are you using? As yeah. you're like big weapons. Missiles and mining lasers. Even their point defense didn't help. Okay, no, they did not lose. I lose. Damn it. Oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Like, you're gonna be no toast? Problem. You're gonna be toast no, after no, this? No, no, no. No, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, well, at least I, the Cell Check League's not it. Yep, I was... Not towards me. I was smart enough to build my commanders around, moving away if they were losing their ship, so I lost pretty much, I don't know, five Corvette, uh, 15 Corvettes only. They just retreated. That's why I lost the, the engagement. That's more Corvettes than I have. Yeah, I have. At all. I have 80 Corvettes now. Okay, I, don't worry. I'm I have fine. no I'm fleet fine. whatsoever. Back fleets. Come back yeah, I need to start growing my fleet, I guess. Okay, so repair fleet here. Let's see, I'm at. Uh, what am I at right now? Uh, oop, new contact. Prime stalwarts. Oh. Oh, there's a. Uh, there's the. Fall okay, empire. I'm going for them again. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. Yep. Jump faster. Jump faster. Okay, okay. Maybe. Yeah, I got them. Okay, good, good. Round two. Uh, at least I outnumber the pirates two to one at this point. <clears throat> Uh oh. <laughs> this is being a fun fight. They brought another fleet, but I'm okay, don't worry. Retreat? Retreat? Vanguard Empire. Yeah, you're a pretty large empire, so I can see why they might feel somewhat threatened, too. Yep. Okay, so... What I need to do, to do is stop using missiles. What are they using besides point defense? Uh, ge the general thing, coil guns and lasers. The AI is very predictable on this one. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Maybe I can get out of this downward spiral. Just maybe. It's rough though, right? I mean, Do you need yes, anything? but um, honestly, I need a lot of everything besides food. But your position's more based on your physical location because you're blocked in. Mine is just simple lack of experience with the game. 
And the little experience that I had was with a prior version of the game. <clears throat> but I think at this point I can start to kind of claw my way back up. It's just been a miracle that no big faction has looked at my territories and been like, yeah, I could do with some of that. Okay, just sent you a trade agreement, Mickey. Yep. Uh... Oh, thank you. You bet. Very kind of you. No problem, buddy. And uh, Sabouts and Vanguard, I'm re-upping our agreements, too. Okay. Send it to you in just a sec. What the heck? This. That was a lot. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. They're not the Fallen Empire. I don't think. All right. So the Cabal is fighting against the Prime Stalwarts, which are a machine empire. Is right on my border, which I'm not sure I like. Technology discovered. And also, Roach, do you want? Actually, yeah. Do you want this planet um, in the system, Menchib? I rename that. Oh, the one you've colonized. Yeah. Basically, that I was looking at my territory thinking, I don't have any planets. There's no possibility of ever connecting to your empire. <laughs> Not directly. Not directly, but, you know, the territories could touch. Just wouldn't well, be able to cut across without going to your territory. You, you could touch be honest, tips. Here, the only way it could ever attach to your empire <laughs> would be if I cease to exist. Okay, fight, well, the thing fight, is, fight. at this point, I can't expand. Well, I was going to say if, but no, just full stop. So, do you want that... <laughs> That territory, seeing as it's going to do you more good than me. Oh, yeah, yes. Emphatically. Emphatically, uh, he states. I wish that male would look at me the same way that Commissar Roach looks at that planet. <laughs> that Mickey's going to give him for free. <laughs> <laughs> that, that I do? Or Mickey? What can he, uh, let's be honest, what can he demand from me? What do I have? <laughs> Um, love and friendship. Yes. <laughs> I knew it. It was your plan all along. That comes at a steep price, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay, now it's time to put a fleet back together. And also it would really help because uh, if you gave me that, I, I could actually close out that area so I wouldn't have pirates coming from there every time. Oh, trying. yeah, which is they just run through my territory again and like knocked out like half my mining stations in the area, which sucks because I'm in a mineral deficit right now. Oh, that's always fun. But a pretty bad mineral deficit as well. It's always fun to play the while they were fighting me. I was trying to rebuild minerals. after pirates have fun in your territory game. How do I give a planet? It's, it's not part of trade negotiations, is it? It is. I've just got energy, minerals, food, information, and research on the left-hand side. Actually, on both sides. Hold on, let's see if I can just demand it from you. Should be an option to transfer system. Nope, can't do it. Really? What, well, no, there is a way, right? We've done it before. Must be a, well, I mean, must be a research. Version. Hitting. Can I evacuate the planet? Can I treat it so badly they rebel? No, but then, <laughs> but then, it, then I have yet. to kill them. Yeah, yeah, you'd have to uh, offer tribute. No, offer oh, tribute. Do you volunteer as tribute? <laughs> I mean, I can insult. Don't know how that's gonna go in a trade deal, though. Why do you why do you want to insult me? Oh, it was the only thing that I thought would work. Why would that work? Why would that make me want to give you? Why would that make me want to have? Oh more no no! Of I'm you by, inside by of my work, empire. By work, I mean the only thing that I know that would be successful in accomplishing what I aim to do. As in, the insult would work for being insulting. Yeah, he's threatening you to give him a. Or wait, hold on. 
What is going on? <laughs> what is going on over there? <laughs> Don't know. He oh, started no. with offering a planet and There's now it's turned into insults. He's trying to give me a planet. I don't know. <laughs> he's screaming at me to take it. He's yelling profanities. You will take this planet, you red bastard. Oh, you will take it now. Like, really? All right. I mean, okay, you know, if you insist. Fine, fine. Don't hit me. Construction. Oh, my God. See, the, the good thing is that the Great Shell Tech League, or I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm just going to say the League, is uh, is in a bottleneck there. There's only one way out of that wormhole system. So if I can block it out, it's not going to be a big deal. <clears throat> Keep getting these habitability researches. Surprisingly, how many... Surprise how many there are. Like... Like right now, I have a 25% habitability to Savannah Worlds, and my I think my race has a 0% base. Oh, they're very heavy on point defense. <laughs> that should work on my favor. <sighs> should I try? Should I not? Construction complete. I noticed, Mickey, complete. you colonized another world just to the south of that, complete. and it's got a natural wormhole in it. Construction. Yeah, I know. I did that. Um, I mean, intentionally, I wanted to... I mean, if something's going to come through that wormhole, I want to be there waiting. Because for me, that would be a choke point on both sides. I'm excited that somebody wants to volunteer to see what's going to come on the other side of that wormhole in the future. <laughs> well, I'm hoping, although I've no idea. Can you check sure. where the wormhole leads without research? You'd have to research it first, wouldn't you? Yeah, uh, you'd have to research I think it. So, so from, I'm from the, I'm guessing it's just the other. I'm guessing it's either the one that's a, that the exit or entrance, however you view it, uh, for that wormhole is either in the prime. Dalworth's territory, or it's just the other one in your territory. Yeah, which I suppose in which case I should just leave it open so they can then go directly attack Mal. <laughs> and circumvent me entirely. Well, I guess I guess it kind of makes sense with the, the the really screwed up way you've made your empire, because that way you have two and wormholes that connect to each other with no actual way of getting to the other side of the empire other than those. If I sense. wasn't like friendly. But I am, so you don't gotta worry about it. Until you don't. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> okay, I need to Google this. I'm gonna have to find out how you give a planet. Because it, it, is it really a research, guys? Do you remember how it was in Synthetic Dawn? I am, I am almost. Well, I mean, it, that doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> I, this <laughs> is a this, whole nother game. What it's is Synthetic a whole new Dawn? Game. A whole new game. It's a whole new <laughs> game. You must get used to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> du, du, du. Let's see. I can see that apprehension to sing in front of me is gone now. Oh, I opened I, up that can of worms. Yeah, I mean, it was going to happen. We might as well just let it go, right? <laughs> it's about yep. to happen. Let it go, point. let it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let Please don't. Please don't. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> Sorry. My girlfriend's got a two-year-old. I've heard that song a lot. Plasma wow. Accelerator? Do I want that? It's something you research to get to something better, essentially. Yeah. Plasma I mean, Accelerator is very good, actually. I... <laughs> I wish I wish scientists would put it in that in that way. <laughs> <laughs> this is very good, and it'll get us something better. Like that's what? a gun, right? Plasma accelerator. Well, well yeah, yeah, it's a gun, but it's gonna make a bigger. It's gonna make a better gun. Once you figure it out how to make it better. <laughs> <laughs> once, we, once we work back and and work out how we did this thing, we built this thing. Then we'll work out how to build a better one. But didn't you make it yourselves? Yes. We don't have the plans for it though. We have to work backwards. Survey complete.
<laughs> so are we sure we want to do this, uh, this, you know, electric car thing? Yeah, well, I mean, we could not do it, but do you want flying cars? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so. <laughs> we better get, we better get cracking then. We better, we better just go ahead and commit ourselves to it then. If I had the money, I'd definitely pick up a Tesla right now. Oh, I so would too. I mean... <laughs> I want to see Tesla make it like a truck, not a not a big rig. The, but an everybody just... says that, but I don't know if it would work. Well, I don't know, if, well, they, I don't, they, I don't know why it wouldn't. It's got a ton of torque. Just well, really I, all I, you I, need. I mean, I know scientifically it'll work. Like I know, I know that I'm talking marketing wise. I would <laughs> buy a Tesla truck oh, because I know what you're saying, though. I know exactly what you're saying. Is the market really gonna like the the market for like a heavy duty like working mm -hmm. truck uh, really mm -hmm. gonna mesh well with a Tesla? That's what mm -hmm. I'm saying. And I know I I, I know Spout I know Spouts you're that market, but I, <sighs> you're an exception to that market. I'm yeah. the market. <laughs> yeah, it would be like we could sell the one. Entire market. We could, we could sell one it. to Spouts and then uh, we're pretty going. much done. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you know, is they came out with the big rig. It, I mean, it can tow just as good as a diesel powered. I, I'm in the market because. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like I'm like my father is a is a long haul trucker. So I'm, I'm kind of in my brother's also partially working mm. that as well. And so I've I am in that sphere. They don't give a shit about that truck. <laughs> like, really? They don't give a crap. It... Well, one, because it's it's mileage <clears throat> is actually a lot worse than <clears throat> diesel. Because uh, well, yeah. the you can't get as far on the charge, like, and I and I know the reason they did that was because like ninety percent of the like big like rigs do trips of less than a couple hundred miles uh, because it's like shorter routes. But like, that's not. <sighs> I survived. The, nice. That's nice. not the draw of that market, though. Like, I thought it, I thought it could do like twenty five hundred miles or something off of one charge. No, it's not. No, it's not that long. I don't believe it's that long. It's 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 relatively like, I mean, it's long, especially for like if you compare it to the, you know, consumer cars, but it's There's a lot of bad jokes we could have just made. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> I know I was going to let it go. I applaud your I applaud. Let your it go. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know if it would work. I honestly don't like uh, yeah. I'm excited. No, I, like, can I would love that. to see those Tesla trucks like Tesla big rigs like those rigs coming out. That would be yeah. seeing those on I the mean, road is awesome. I mean, it's like it's kind of like when Nissan came out with the Nissan Titan and they're like, yeah, it's a smaller diesel truck for 20,000 more dollars than a bigger diesel truck. And everybody's like, wow, where can I not sign up? <laughs> You don't understand how any of this works, do you? Construction. Oh, I went and looked at a Nissan Titan, and I wasn't impressed. I'm like, well, it's a smaller engine than most diesels. I'm fairly They're sure like, no yeah. one was. Yeah, I'm like, well, well, it's a smaller. I'm like, well, it's a smaller diesel than most other diesel trucks, and they're like, yeah, but it costs more. And I'm like. I don't think that that's a good marketing standpoint. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't think that your marketing isn't that, is right. Isn't that the way though? That's the way that works, right? I mean, you should know pay, you're in marketing. Pay, as a, pay as more? a former marketer, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say I don't. I don't think. No, I'm. I'm fairly I certain think that we would have I thought thrown that was, out. I thought that was the deal. <laughs> I thought that's how that worked. I'm they actually sure. were doing so bad at one point with Nissan <clears throat> Titan sales that they. They were just like practically giving them away. They're like, yeah, we have a special promotion right now for $10,000 off. If you please buy a brand new Nissan Titan, please. We built so many of them. They've been sitting on the lots. We have 2015 models with one mile on them. <laughs> yeah. Just come test drive it. We'll give you a Dunkin' Donuts gift card. <laughs> Nissan are bad even here in Brazil. So I can't understand what you're saying. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they just, they weren't, you know, they weren't, they're, sm they're like little four-cylinder diesel cars, trucks. Speaking of though, speaking of like Tesla specifically, like, uh, I, I don't, I've, I've heard, I don't know if they're coming out with it, but, uh, like, I think, I, I'm surprised they haven't come out with anything like an SUV at least, because I can see the SUV market working Ooh, well for, with that. For, yeah, yeah Tesla. Oh, for, for Tesla. Tesla, yeah. Yeah, the is SUV there, market right now is huge. Yeah, and it's and it's, it's oh, just in time. They're yeah. not necessarily all that really good for. <clears throat> they don't have really great gas mileage SUVs either. Yeah, like, oh, they're they're not too bad anymore. I mean, depending on you're talking like large scale SUV, like a Tahoe or something. 
but it likes actual SUVs. They get about as good gas mileage as a car now. You get you talk like you know like a um, like a Toyota Rav Four. I mean, you're only gonna be a few miles less, but it's really not a big difference like it was maybe few miles less years unloaded ago. or loaded though. Well, what are you gonna? I mean, people don't load them. Well, I mean, they just put their kids in them, they, well, just like you would in a car. <laughs> I mean, well, people don't really load them like they do. Like they might show in the commercials, like people like throwing kayaks all inside of them. But well, that's what I'm saying. It's the you, you're if if you're going for the the SUV market, you're also trying to corner the uh, like outdoor kind of sportish yeah. kind of person market. But and, I uh, mean, like um, they all like like your average car now is going to get you know probably around 24, 25 miles per gallon, and an SUV like a small scale SUV, like not talking like a Tahoe or something. Just your, um, your like Super CrossFit. Um, Ooh, I, no, I can think of a bunch they broke more, off their, they broke off their agreement. They're probably gonna get like twenty one. I mean, even trucks now are getting like Ro- Rochi okay on eighteen to twenty one. Uh, it's a fix. You know, no. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Send you um, what my I can. truck gets awful gas mileage though for some odd reason. In my two thousand one, uh, my two thousand one Honda Civic gets gets twenty three miles to the gallon, so I don't I don't really need a new car. I'm not in the market, but twenty three, you said? Yeah, how about that? Yeah, my my WRX, I got a Subaru WRX. It gets 32, 31 to thirty two. That's an nice. awesome car. That's I nice. Love, Actually, I think the I best gas Subaru. mileage car I ever owned was a. Uh, was uh I think it was a Honda work van, you know the panel vans, like those oh, like yeah. night like night. I don't remember the year, but it was this ridiculous. <laughs> like it was like it was just a white panel van. But uh, on the way down to like uh, we do like a cross country kind of thing every year, or at least we did uh, from Illinois to Georgia to go visit family on Christmas, and uh, we uh, we averaged we averaged twenty six miles to the gallon in that thing. Nice. <laughs> it was this ridiculous. Like, oh, highway miles like, will do that. Yeah, we were we were doing we were like put uh, writing everything down. We weren't using a calculator. We were doing it all by hand on like a on like a notepad, and we we're just like, what the fuck. <laughs> like, That's awesome. Because we never got that like anywhere around here, but it, we just we came to the conclusion that we just need to blow the shit out of it, <laughs> like for a couple hundred miles. And it, yeah, and it got better. Man, I need to kill these pirates so bad. I need to die. Yeah, I've got a pirate fleet of 1600 hovering near me. They're making me nervous. Yeah, I'd like to see the vehicle market kind of take a big hit, honestly. It because uh, they're, it they're getting a little out of control with their pricing. And I can understand it, ta- it costs a lot to build a vehicle. But I mean, when you walk onto a dealership and like... You know, brand new truck's gonna run you seventy thousand dollars. It's a little freaking ridiculous, and it, it's yeah. mainly because gas prices are—I are, don't want to say cheap, but they're a lot cheaper than they were a couple of years ago. So everybody's buying, everybody's out buying, you know, trucks, SUVs, and it's just caused the market to get out of control. Yeah. Construction complete. Luckily, they're holding their value, but we'll see how that holds up. If gas prices go back up, and then a lot of that's going to go away again for a while. Yeah, like people that bought a bought an H1 Hummer as an investment back then, and then they saw yeah. what happened with something yeah. a couple years later. Yeah, exactly. No, it sucks because I, I have to have... hold its value. It's a collector's item. <laughs> yeah, it's a collector's yeah. item. It gets like eight miles to the gallon. If like that's on the that's like highway. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's it going flat out. <laughs> what are you doing over there, Vanguard? You're super quiet. Yeah, it's because I'm a little bit overwhelmed by what's happening around me. Well, you want sh- to you share with us? I mean, empire. not that I don't want to talk about trucks for another hour, but I am kind of curious what's <laughs> happening to you. <laughs> Why would uh, you not want to talk about trucks? Maybe, maybe a purifier empire wants a piece of me and I'm seeing how I can counter that <laughs> and it's not being kind of easy <laughs> but that sums it up uh, and we are on time now 30 minutes oh, yes we are I saw that Good I catch. saw that 
All right, all right, folks. We're gonna end this one here, and we'll return for more um, uh, marketing, marketing, marketing analysis <laughs> of the truck market in the next episode. So we hope yes. you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please consider hitting the thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Mal for Roach, Mickey, Sabalas, and Vanguard, and we will see you later. See you Bye, guys. guys. Bye. All right. Yeah.